It is Sunday, February 13th in the NBA, and I'm back with my one best pick of the day. We only got two games on the slate, so don't force anything. But before we recap yesterday and how we did, I need to take a moment of silence real quick because we lost a member of the basketball community yesterday. His name was Jared Allen. Cause of death, Joel Embiid. Yo, what's going on everyone? This is Austin from Calling Our Shot. Let's do a quick recap from yesterday. We did a sweep on Friday. And man, yesterday we didn't get a sweep, but we did have a profitable day. Nail in our one and a half unit play. Julius Randle easily cashing in the third quarter. DeJounte Murray and Steven Adams clutch up. And so we go three and two on the day. We saw Sabonis, he only attempted nine field goal attempts. Weird game. And then John Morant gets injured, also goes two for six from the free throw line, finishing three points short of what we needed. Either way, a profitable day that moves us to seven and one on one and a half unit plays this season. So very solid. Probably should have taken Luka Doncic again, which he crushed his line. If you are new to the call on our shot channel, what are you doing? Go down below, click that subscribe button. We'd appreciate it. We're grinding towards 24,000 subscribers. We can't do it without your guys' support. Now, an important note, we only have two games on tonight. Why? Well, it's because of the Super Bowl is tonight. Rams versus Bengals, my best bets is on is live on the channel. It was posted right before this video will last tonight. Go check it out. We have a, two player props, one spread pick and one over under pick in that video. Trying to close out over 30, up over 30 units on player props. And I really like the two that we picked out. So definitely go check it out. It'll be linked down below in the description. Also, I have to, I have to say a big shout out to all the new COS All-Stars. You guys have been, you guys continue to amaze me. You guys have been just absolutely showing a ton of support. And while there's tons of people going premium for their picks, we're not going to do that over here. So just uh, becoming an All-Star is a little bit token of appreciation for all I do every single morning for you guys. But we appreciate it nonetheless. If you want to click the join button on the channel, go do that. $2.99 a month. We really would appreciate it. And it goes a long way more than you guys know or click the first link in the description plus you get all my plays an hour early although today might not be an hour early because we only have one play but still shout out to our newest all-stars oscar i'm definitely going to pronounce some names wrong so apologies oscar asim ray ricky shane mohammed adam bryce emmanuel skip hod the legend uh and juan marcus Charles and JK Geology. We appreciate you guys all for being a part of the all-star community. You guys, like I said, are the real MVP. You're the reason we're able to do this every single morning. So shout out to you if you want to become an all-star. Go click the join button on the channel. We'd appreciate it. Now, lastly, before we get started, got to do my last two shameless plugs. Number one, the Caesar Sportsbook promo. I know, I know, but it's a really awesome deposit match bonus if you want to use it. Have some extra money to bet on the Super Bowl. Definitely go do that if you want to. Links down below. And then we have a new one, which is the BetMGM, which is offering up to $560 uh, deposit match, which is up from, I believe, what they normally offer. So all the links are down below. If you want to go check them out, go do it. We appreciate it. It helps pay the bills over here. So definitely go check it out. Without further ado, let's get in. Only two games on the slate. Not a lot to choose from, so don't force a lot of bets today. We have money to make in the big game. So here's my best bet of the day. Drum roll, please. Tyrese Halliburton, over 24 and a half points plus assists, minus 115 on Caesars. The line is identical on DraftKings, which I believe is minus 120. So Look, Hallie Burton, you can take his PRA line, but he only had three rebounds in his first game. I believe it's 28 and a half. So I'm not really asking for a lot. If he gets four rebounds, maybe even flirts with a triple-double, you get great value. But I'm just going to go with, with the points plus assists here. Now, Hallie Burton, we know he was traded from the, the Sacramento Kings. He had an emotional departure because he really liked that team, really got into that community. And then they said, get, get out of here. We're going to build around De'Aaron Fox. Now you're Indiana Pacer, which... No, whatever, it's going to be helpful for his career because he's no longer sharing the court with De'Aaron Fox. Now, he will start alongside Buddy Heald, O'Shea Brissett, probably, and Chris Duarte, and then whatever center they want to check out there. They started Goga Badatze, but he played like 10 minutes last game. Maybe Jalen Smith gets to start one of these days. But either way, Halle Burton is taking on the Timberwolves. More on that in a second. Now, Halle Burton in his first game... Played 40 minutes, so you love the playing time. Had 23 points and 6 assists, cashing this. This was a much tougher matchup against the Cleveland Cavaliers than what you will see today in the Minnesota Timberwolves. Now, for starters, the over-under, 235.5 points. The sportsbooks expect a very high-scoring game. Timberwolves are only 6-point favorites, so they do think the Pacers can stay in this game, so that's good to see. We want this game to be close-ish, and hopefully we get that is exactly what we get. Now, you look at Halle Burton. If you type in Halle Burton game log against the, the Timberwolves, you're going to see he doesn't, really, he doesn't get near this line, but... You can't really blame the man. He's been playing with De'Aaron Fox. And in those games, De'Aaron Fox was crushing this line. He, he was shooting 20, 20, 17, and 16 times. You see Halliburton shoot like 9 and 10 times. And then in those games, he had 33, 37, 20, and 40 points plus assists. Easily cashing this line in three of those fours. Taking the ball out of Halliburton's hands. But he also had a bunch of assists as well in those games. Now, Halliburton gets to run the show. And you saw he, he did pretty well. He shot 15 times in his first game. Talk about that in a second. Now, this season in 13 games without De'Aaron Fox. 
walks. Halliburton hit this line in nine of them. So a 69% nice conversion rate. Not, not too solid. His four misses were against the Warriors, Nets, Hawks, and Celtics. The Hawks and Celtics both were blowouts. So of course, he's not going to hit the line. Warriors, one of the best defenses in the league. And then the Nets, he shot five for 15, which is what, 33%, well below his averages. When if you yeah, give me Hallie Burton with 15 plus field goal attempts, I'll take this bet every single night. Well, I don't think he's a lock to go for 15 plus field goal attempts. He's going to shoot more than he did with De'Aaron Fox in the lineup. So I think he will be active. If you look at his career in 22 career games with 15 plus field goal attempts, hit the over in 16 of them. Like, I don't think he's necessarily locked to shoot that many times, but if he does, he's gonna hit this over more often than not. We look at the Timberwolves, great matchup for opposing point guards over the last 15 games. Timberwolves allowed the sixth most points per game at over 25.8 a game, and they've allowed the 10th most assists to point guards at 9.14 a game. Now, the Timberwolves haven't faced a ton of elite passers, but when they have, like Chris Paul, Trey Young, LaMelo Ball, all these guys got a ton of assists versus them, and I think that's what we'll see to say, see today. We saw last game, we looked at Ayo Desumu. He had 14 points and 10 assists against this team, almost hitting this over for Halliburton. He only shot seven times, six for seven shooting from the field. The Timberwolves just played the Kings twice, and you saw De'Aaron Fox have 35 and 30 points plus assists. Hit, hit in this line. We even saw a guy like Mike Conley recently have 27 points plus assists against the Timberwolves. This is, this is definitely an area of weakness, defending opposing point guards. And sure, you can say, what about Pat Bev? What about Patrick Beverly? Look, I'm not concerned about Patrick Beverly. I mean, maybe people see him and want to go at him even more, but look, I'm not concerned about him. There'll be a lot of pick and roll. Pat Bev can foul Halliburton as much as he wants, whatever he wants to do. I really like it today. So I'm going with Tyrese Halliburton as my only official play over 24 and a half points plus assists. You Like I said, the PRA line is fine. Too. They do give up a good amount of rebounds to opposing point guards, but I'm going to stick to what Halle Burton's good at, and that's points and assists. That's my only play of the day. Now, no reason to force anything. Here's, here's a couple other plays because I'm assuming you guys will ask about the other games. I did look at Marcus Smart over one and a half three-pointers. The reason this isn't an official play is because he plays for the Boston Celtics, and I, I off that team. I refuse to bet on him, but it's super sketchy. Smart either gives you two threes or you're getting zero, but he's been pretty good recently, and we see shooting guards versus the Hawks, and while Marcus Smart not necessarily a shooting guard, he's going to have Trey Young on him, and why do shooting guards always exploit the, the Atlanta Hawks? It's because Trey Young is normally guarding them. He's not normally guarding the point guard, so either way, I just refuse to bet on the Celtics. I just can't do it. Now, another guy you can look at, Carl. Carl Anthony Towns. I know a lot of people probably would ask me in the comments. I don't mind Cat's lines today. The problems I have is, and if I had to take one, I'd likely lean his rebounds and assists, maybe PRA line, but I feel like the lines are pretty sharp. And at this moment, as of 6.13 a.m. Eastern time, I have zero clue if Anthony Edwards is playing. So if he doesn't play, I'd likely lean the over a little bit more. But right now, if you're bet taking the bet over right now, and Anthony Edwards plays, you're going to lose probably a, at least a point or two on the line. So he has a great track record against the Pacers, but you just never know with injury statuses. So if Ant-Man is out, I don't mind taking that over for Cat. But look, I want a little bit of a little bit of something to watch pre pre the big game. So I'll be relying on Mr. Halliburton over 24 and a half points plus assists as my only bet. I believe that's a 3 p.m. Eastern tip-off. So you get a little bit of juices flowing, get the get the food in the body, maybe the adult beverages too, right before the game while you're watching Halliburton, hopefully cash for us. So that's all I'm gonna do. Rams versus Bengals, that best bets video is on the screen. Go check it out. Definitely wanna, you don't wanna miss it. That'll be the last NFL video for a hot minute. So we appreciate you for tuning in. I'll catch you guys again on Monday when we have a couple more games than just two. So this has been Austin. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.